Hey guys, what's up, man? It's a bull. I'm here in the rabbit tree. I'm separating Pookie, giving Pookie his own area inside the rabbit tree so that uh, I can keep him away from the girls. I mean, this guy here is just, he's too much of a gigolo, man. He's just, you know, too many babies. I mean, once one finishes uh, dropping babies, he's got her pregnant already the next day, you know what I mean? So, we're gonna go ahead and um, separate Pookie, give him his own area there. Whenever um, I decide to, you know, um, have him uh, pregnant any of the bunnies, then I just open the gate, give him a day or two out out there. That's all it takes for him, you know what I mean? It would be one hour, man, Pookie have them both pregnant. Pookie something else, man. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and um, separate Pookie. I don't know why he's over there running through through the wire. He's checking out everything. Anything new that comes into the rabbit tree, I notice. Anything new. Any kind of object. Could be a hammer. Anything. Bucket. Screwdriver. He'll go over and rub rub his chin on it. It's like putting his scent on any object that comes in here. Like letting him know that he's the, he's the top dog up in this uh, rabbit tree. So... Yeah, we're going to go ahead and separate Pookie today. He'll have one more night. I'll give him one more day with the girls. And then tomorrow I'll finish this off. So. Yeah, so, you know, they. this is a big rabbit tree area for them. So they, they still have lots and lots and lots of room to um, roam around. So, hey, Pookie. Last, last night, buddy. So, uh, take advantage. <laughs> the only one you got out is um, Little Kim. Little Kim has babies. I think she has babies in two spots. I think she has, I definitely she has babies up in the hut. Here. And they're inside, they're inside, uh, you know, the box. They're still real little, just a couple days old, so I can leave the door open because I'm not, you know, she can run in and out as she pleases to uh, feed them. Because I know, I'm pretty sure she has babies down in the burrows down there. Because the other day, one came wandering out and I had to um, capture them and put them up here with... Um, Aquita's babies, as you can see, she has babies in the in the, and she, that baby was just a little smaller than her babies, so, so it's fine. I, I adopted it to uh, to Laquita. Now Laquita's locked up because her, of course, her babies can roam around, and what they, what'll happen is they'll fall out, they'll fall out of the rabbit tree, and come down and just wander around the rabbitry area and I'm you know I don't want them to to end up uh, getting hurt somehow or uh, you know not being fed because they're off wandering around somewhere and uh, Loquito will come running back in to feed her, her uh, kits and they don't get fed so I keep I let I let Loquito out during during in the morning I let her spend the whole day out and then about this time around six, seven o'clock, I'll come and um, get her and show, I'll open the door and she'll just run up in there and um, then I lock it so that uh, she stays in there and, and she feeds them through the night. So I have to make sure they get fed. So that's why I secure her for the night. So she only gets to spend half of the day out loose, which is great anyway. I mean, you know, she has all that time to wander around and do her thing. And then she can stay in here for the night, secure with her, with her kits. You can see a little black one just came out in the back. All right. So, anyway, I just wanted to give you all an update of what I'm doing here. So, Pookie is getting secured over there. So he's gonna be staying in his cabin, and he has about, I say, about 15 feet of runway by about. 11 feet or, or 10 feet 
wide. So, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's, uh, that's a mansion. So, all right, guys. So, anyway, I'll talk to you all later. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll give you all an update in a few days after it's finished and he has um, settled in. So, all right, guys. Y'all take care. Much love.